out of that, which yeah. is not really 34 because it's W-2 taxes. Might as well call it 28. $28 an hour. Yeah. Okay, and then, oh, I'll give you overtime, but overtime kicks me into another bracket, which gives out more taxes. That's right. So because you're you're for people that don't realize that when you make past when you make past two grand gross, your tax bracket goes up high. Yeah. High, bro. That's what it's always like. You're you're still not making it into that neighborhood. You think you're making it. You're not going to. Yeah. And if you do make enough money like that from labor, you won't be home enough to enjoy it. That's a fact. Because one thing they're going to hit you with is you, you're traveling. Most of the jobs that pay you to get into your small town, nice neighborhood, you're going to be gone so much. It won't matter. Yeah. Your, your, maybe your kids will enjoy it. Right. If you have a family. If you have a family, maybe your kids will enjoy it and all that shit, but they, you won't be able to be home. And if you get in an accident, which could happen, that house is gone. Yeah. There is no, oh, I paid you because you got an accident money. No, there isn't. The check stops. You know, so my thing is with that is when I when I have these discussions with y'all, they say, well, what direction should I go in? That's something I also look at all the time, too, because the truth is the blue collar man, there is seldom a, 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 a there's seldom a direction you can go that leads you. That's why I tell you retirement is bullshit. Mm. If retirement was a thing, they'll be paying more money to get younger people in. When you get to these places, there's fucking ancient vampires on these positions, bro. Yeah, I mean, the average the average trucker age is between 36 and 45, so. That, that's been updated. The average trucker age now is 55. Really? Yes. Sheesh, man. They're Whew. old as fucking wow. dirt, bro. Jeez, man. They're old as fucking dirt, and, and you try to cut, and then when you, the only reason they're interested in hiring you, because they don't want to pay his ass all that money they're paying him, so then they're going to hire you to do his job for cheaper. The fuck I want to do that for? Right. Yeah, that's a, that's that's how I be feeling sometimes. I don't really be. My thing is everybody feels this way about their industry in some, you know, in some hole. Just most people are just too chicken shit to say it. Yeah, I mean, it it doesn't matter what, what type. There's always going to be. Well, not always, but. In in American society, in every type of working industry, there's going to be some type of injustice, period. Yeah, I mean, the way to make profit is to, listen, when you go to business school, they tell you to, their whole premise of capitalism mm -hmm. is to buy low and mm -hmm. sell high. That's right. That means the service you're providing for your company, they're selling that shit high as shit, and they're paying you low. Right. That is how they get their fucking profit. And then they'll do little shit to get a little bit more profit by, oh, man, why don't you go 1099? <laughs> <laughs> that way you don't have to pay into your shit. Or, or yeah. no, no, uh, we're, we're, we're switching health cares. Oh, phenomenal. my God. We're switching from Blue Cross Blue Shield to need to be dying before we see you. <sighs> Listen, and again, I, I'm trying not to. I don't I don't want to get too left with that or too right with that, but the freaking oh my god, I hate that's one thing I truly hate about where I work. The healthcare no, I, I don't like uh, you know I'll say I don't like United Healthcare. They're they're trash to me. They they know they're trash, bro, because they go to a healthcare that passes most of the pays over to the employee. Exactly. Like why am I still having to kick out two hundred dollars if if I'm paying the top the top tier insurance is being offered to me. Right. Because week. you're paying the top tier of a shitty insurance company. <laughs> they they you down a whole region and you're at yeah. the top tier of shitty. So now That's it's like, I got to give you $300 a week to not, owe, not to not have a $15,000 copay. Right. So now I'm giving you that, but I don't get sick for five years. Then when I do, when I, when I do get sick and everything like that, I come in here, I got a $5,000 thing before you help out. Who, what person yeah. in America has a loose five thousand dollars that is a manual labor drop for person? Yeah, not even. And just not even, not even just manual labor. Just, just period. An employed person, period. <laughs> Americans, period. Nobody. That, it, there's a very small, and I mean very small yeah. percentage of people that has a just, just a loose around. five thousand laying around that they're gonna give to the health place. Yeah, you know, and I mean, as they say, the average American has less than five hundred dollars in their savings account. How the fuck can a copay legally be over five hundred dollars? Exactly. 
that don't make fucking sense because the truth is dude don't get hurt <laughs> or sick yeah don't get hurt don't get yeah. sick don't get terminal if you do yeah. you're fucked god god forbid you have something hereditary oh my god Right, and that's another reason why black people really don't like to go to the motherfucking doctor because that doctor is putting shit on your record that affects your insurance capability. But he's working against you because then whatever he done wrote down for the past 10 years, you go to some place and they say, oh, we can't cover you. Yeah. Like, why? Because like, I have your whole fucking record here and dude, you're fucking about to fall apart. Yeah, like with uh with life insurance, if you have certain uh, conditions <laughs> that affects not only how much you pay, but if you can even get it in the first place. Right. When they asked me, do I smoke? I told them, no, I don't smoke cigarettes and I don't smoke. I vape. Right. Right. I'm not telling you I smoke for you to up my shit. No, I don't smoke. I don't have, I don't have any stains on my teeth. I don't right. smoke. Fuck you. Do I smell like smoke to you? Exactly. Uh, I don't smoke. <laughs> Fuck that. No. And I can like, oh, well, smoking really fucks you up. No, nigga, McDonald's fucks you up. Oh my God. Yeah. I asked me, do I eat McDonald's? But then again, he doesn't have to ask me that. He can tell that by my weight. And, and Trucker Brown here. I'm just here to remind you that we are on Patreon and it does help out the channel. Thanks to all the people who sub to the Patreon this weekend. I appreciate you. New content is coming there. And these clips that I'm giving you are from the exclusive Trucker Report Live that I do with Phil, which is link is at the bottom on Rumble TV Uncut. So I appreciate y'all. Love the support. If you like the content, man, hit the buttons. Let me know. Thanks for coming to the Patreon.